Hey, you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It's our Nexology run. And I do have a creeping feeling that we're not going to wrap up the entire victory of this before Anomaly comes out. And maybe that's fine. Maybe we'll just do the, the one-time sale of the Arco Nexus, you know, and then you're basically restarting, and that's going to be okay. And maybe we can continue Hope's story in Anomaly. Technically start a new run, but the idea being is this is this is Hope's second colony in this other place where things will totally not go super badly for any reason with any kind of crazy weird monsters. I think we should maybe pre prepare our trails for that. Um, this colony is going great. Still happy with it. Uh, we're rapidly cruising up the that's the wrong button. Rapidly cruising up the wealth thing. Double. I mean, we'd have to double our wealth. Well, not nearly, but nearly double our wealth to. Uh, ooh, it's not a good trader trade ship to actually sell our colony to an ally, which we haven't technically allied to. But I think that all that could happen very quickly. So maybe I was, you know, I was hoping to develop our characters more biologically and bionically before we did that. As I say, we could just rush it, but I think I still want to do that vibe, still sort of complete that plan, even if it's not going to continue the whole way, just so that we've got a gist for it. And I, there are going to be victory conditions and anomaly, but then maybe we can take another crack at, at this. We're going to sell the seed. We got some tech print for specialized limbs. I would love that. I mean, I would love kind of all of these. Is there any way we can make this much money? I suspect the answer may be no. We're not going to sell you the Resurrector Serum. Do you buy gold? No, we can sell you these thrumbo horns. That's certainly something. I could sell off some extra alpacas. I guess the young alpaca. I want maybe keep the two pregnant ones. And of course, the male. Um, the dromedary is, I think, somewhere away, but we'll do that. OK, so we clearly can't buy everything. Now, this is assuming I am still also purchasing components and advanced components, which I think is still the right thing to do. We might just pick up the specialized limbs then. Yeah. Mostly because it would be really handy to have someone with the, uh, the drill arm. I don't know if I'll do the power claw or the field hand, but we've gotten good value out of these drill arms before. And I kind of think I still want to do that. Um, heavy brow, kill thirst, bald. Uh, can we get info? Do either one of these, and I suspect the answer is no. But do either one of these reduce complexity? No, they're just completely neutral. Um, what about for this one over here? Kill Thirst increases complexity. Heavy Brow is neutral. Pale Red Skin is neutral. So yeah, we're not going to pick any of those up. Oh, there's more gene packs over here. I think they're a different color. Oh, hang on. Is Scarless is one of those... Um, yeah, Archite ones. And Perfect Immune. Also gives you a pig voice. Damn. Okay, I do have enough money to pick up one of these. Scarless and Psy Sensitive. Psy Sensitive is... Hmm. Psy Sensitive... Oh, because it does make you better at psychic stuff. I was hoping that it would be a discount, but I guess it's the other way around. That will add a crazy amount of complexity. Okay, complexity, but no metabolic thing, metabolic stuff with this. Do I just buy this? Okay, let's buy it. We're going to have to get ourselves some Archite capsules as well. Do I buy the Archite capsule and cancel the tech print or cancel getting as many components? These van components are heckin' expensive. One short. That's a little bit annoying. I will send you, I don't know, whatever, something like this. Okay. We're doing this because it's part of our plan to buff Hope to start off. I don't know where the goods dropped. I didn't see the animation for it. Maybe what I can do is just put everyone in high priority hall. I don't want the stuff to rot out there. Oh, I forgot I've got a mod for the search. Um, Archite capsule. Oh, right there. Okay. Do a high priority haul on that stuff. Thank you very much. All right, let's boost the speed up. So we've got some people coming back soon. That's going to be good. Things at the base are okay. We're, and we really don't want to get attacked while our people are away. That would be less than ideal. 
Oh, I think someone pointed out, I think the uh, wind levels might be 70% less. We have had some days where we max this out, but maybe the the frequency of wind or the average wind strength has dropped 70% during a foggy rain. Um, I think someone looked it up on a wiki and let me know on, I think, the Discord. Sorry, I don't remember the username. It just just occurred to me now that that was a thing. But I'm pretty sure we've seen this wind meter fill up for full strength. But yeah, it, it kind of probably makes sense that it might be reduced in, the, in this particular weather. I think that's legit. Okay, we got those, we got those. Sass, how old are you? Five days, five years and 40 days. Odette, okay, I think again at 13, I think is the next big age boost. Um, I think at 13, they can start to do everything. They still have a reduced body size, so they're still very vulnerable in combat and for like medicine and drugs and things like that. That's still a bit of an issue, but I think it might enable all their tasks at that point. I don't quite recall. Working on that assault rifle. Yeah, we'll we'll change some assignments for some weapons over here. Figure out someone who's quite good. I don't think we've got... I don't think we've got any careful aimers. I can't remember. Maybe we do. Maybe we do have one. I mean, the ideal thing for that is maybe something like a sniper rifle. Thrumble 4, Duster. Yes, that's going to be really good. Thrumble 4, I think, is as good as a hyperweave. Like, better than Devil Strand. So it is excellent material. And what I should have maybe done, well, I guess we get the filter on it to make sure that it's um, whoever makes the good dusters needs at least at least 10 skill. I may have wanted to set that even higher, although I don't even know. Yeah, re re no, regardless, it's still just making it with spear. That's probably fine. Oh, we got animal plague with alpacas. OK, well, we're not going to respond to it. They'll probably be OK. They're going to be giving herbal medicine. Hopefully that's sufficient. Our doctoring, okay, doctor at the base is only Javi here at a six, which isn't fantastic. You guys are going to make it here before the end of the day? You are, okay. I think we've got a better doctor outside of that. Sorry, it's been several days since I've played. Part of the th reason that um, we're not going to be able to like finish the entire victory run before Anomaly is because Millennia kind of took over my life for the last week and a half. Um, and I actually did enjoy it quite a lot. And I'm looking forward to a new Let's Play for it. I'm not, I'm not saying that the, you know, some of the negative reviews are totally wrong i'm just saying that i enjoyed the game quite a bit so and i'm looking forward to the next one so masterwork assault rifle is beautiful brilliant masterwork weapons masterwork and above so masterwork and legendary deal bonus damage which is fantabulous all right everyone's coming home now if we take a look well, we can use our numbers mod maybe for this if we go to the combat preset like, maybe we just want to give it to whoever's got the best shooting thing, which is currently Gomp, which is interesting because don't you have reduced manipulation from your hands, your trotter hands? You do. But you're still pretty good shot. You do have careful shooter. Yeah, I think Gomp. Maybe we even give you the survival rifle right now, or sorry, the bolt action. What's the range on the bolt action rifle? So maximum range is 37 and it does have accuracy pretty good all the way through. We'll look at the assault rifle. Oh, yeah, I did have it selected. I just saw the art button. I was confused. Range of 31. Okay, so what? who's our second best shooters then? Hope. Now, Hope's got this uh, charge rifle, which is kind of cool. The assault rifle might be better, especially if it would give her max range. She's got a lot of kills. I guess we could actually look at some of these kill meters. I kind of want to keep Hope with her gun because I, I do feel it's her gun. Although the assault rifle is probably better with the quality. Kind of aesthetic. Yeah, you're a good shooter. Okay. Mathis, go and grab this. And then... The tomboy isn't going to fight. Fawns, who's pretty good at shooting. Yeah, but isn't a careful shooter. I'll get you to grab that. And then Gomp, you can grab the bolt action rifle. And then Igle, who doesn't currently have a weapon at all. You're going to pick up the system G. Okay, I think I'm pleased with this. So we can use Gomp as sort of a sniper role, and we might make them a proper actual sniper weapon as well, because I think the sniper rifle has even better range. I think it also does more damage per shot. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it has a higher DPS. Um, bed rest is set quite high. We've got the doctoring as well. Interesting. Eigel's got better skill than you, but doesn't have passion, but it's only at a five. Maybe I'll turn off these others as well for now. Might be nice if Immolator is doing most of the medical work right now, but we can give um, we can give Tomboy a chance to practice as well. I'm assuming you don't have yourself tend on. Good. And actually, Immolator, you do have self tend on, which I might. Do I want to turn off? 
I know you're pretty skillful. I think I will let you work on it yourself. Oh, well, you just went and got yourself stoned, which isn't necessarily what I want. Uh, could you prioritize tending to Javi? That's Hope's husband. Although, in the cold and cruel calculus of Rimor... I'm just looking at my sound meter now, and it looks like it's peaking out, which doesn't make any sense, because I haven't adjusted any of my sounds. Oh, I apologize if the volume level is no good. I'll have to double-check things um, between streams, but I'm just going to bring this down a little, because it looks like it's slightly peaking out. My apologies. There's nothing worse than a YouTube video with bad sound. Bad video quality, people can live with. Bad sound is a problem. Um, and I mean, that's, I certainly know it for me and I think it applies to most people. So I apologize if the sound of this video isn't good. I'll, I'll double check the recording, but I'm going keep going for now. Um, I was gonna say in the cold and cruel world, the calculus of RimWorld, it might actually be quite good if Javi died. It would of course make Hope very upset, but Javi's not necessarily a winning pawn in terms of bringing them with us to the next place. And the thing is, I don't think we have to. I think we could leave them behind and Hope might not be bothered by that at all. We'll see. Um, Immolator. Do any one of these? Yeah, prioritize tending. And then Javi's fine. Doesn't need to be tending it. Tend it again. Okay. Oh, it wasn't even a very serious injury. Either one of these. I, you know what I was thinking? Because we get the plague over here when I saw these guys in the beds. So I'm like, oh, plague, right. Deal with it. But no, they don't have the plague. They just had a social fight. Everyone's back. That's good. We got the force weather. At some point, I, do I clear it? I don't know. I think, I can't remember. I think one of the changes in 1.5 is you can have more than one map event. So keeping that around forever won't make as much sense. Or won't be as needed. Like, this is defending us from stuff. On the other hand, maybe it's, you know, preventing useful things from triggering. Just really like the fire control. We do have some crap weapons there. We could be taking a look at some of these. Because this is just burning the bio-coated stuff. I could put a rule back in to smelt some of this uh, low quality stuff. Maybe, maybe only melee for now. And yeah, if it's awful or poor. And then same thing, do forever. Still only melee. And this is for things that are low HP and therefore won't sell for very well. Okay. And just the smeltables. Maybe we won't worry about the actual destroy, but at least we get some material back from doing from doing this. Yeah. Steel Iqua, giving us a little bit of steel back. That's actually very handy. We, don't, we can't give you a weapon, can we? No. Oh, incapable of violence. I think we can arm the kids. Yeah. You have Sass a knife over here. I don't know if that's a good idea. But we can arm them. I've had them fight before. It's better if they don't, because with their small body size, they're slightly harder to hit, but any damage is massive. Masterwork Flak Vest? That's Beautiful. Brilliant. All right. So these guys I set back to the keep one job because I had set a number in here, but then and count equipped. And then as soon as people left. Yeah, actually, that's the same thing that's happening here. Oh, no, count one way. No, we do have it there. Right. The clothes, I kept it as one per job. That's right. But we do have so we have 18 people. Two of them are kids. I forgot that we set the uh, we, we can set the count wall away. We've got a target of 16, which is exactly right. And we don't count anything that's too worn out. We could even set a minimum quality and then we try again. Just because if we make a higher quality thing, people will go and upgrade their clothing unless they were forced to wear it, but no one's on a force to wear. So that's all good and groovy. Masterwork flak vest. We are getting some high quality stuff happening here. It's entirely possible that someone's going to come. So some people clearly don't have a flak vest because we weren't at the 16 count. It's entirely possible that someone who's already wearing a flak vest went and grabbed those masterworks right away. In fact, that's, I think that's exactly what happened. Masterwork cloth corset. That's mostly for training and money making. Um, but it's still okay. In the end, you know, everyone's going to end up with stuff. We've got some idlers. Do we have a restriction anywhere? No. Is there any new job we want to queue up? Are we just kind of happy with this situation? We potentially got some non-primary researchers here. Maybe... I guess I only have it turned on for people who actually have some amount of research passion. I mean, I'd leave it like that was the research, but... That's fine. Auto cannon turret. Right, just in case we needed. I don't feel like we've needed to build the turrets so far. I think if we were, we'd be expanding this kill box to a bigger size and doing that. Oh, I should get my little shelf in here for if we ever do get some EMP grenades again. Um, small shelf right there. Clear all critical EM, oops, EMP grenades. 
Oh, sorry, not there. Well, you know, construct it and then I'll just move it. Got tons of wood. Steel situation. We have some, not infinite amounts, but we do have some. Do we crank out a few bionic parts? I would kind of like some bionic egg, uh, eggs. Bionic eyes. Let's at least one for hope. Here's an interesting question. Would Gomp be someone we brought with us? They're superhuman. A careful shooter is actually kind of a de detriment. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Quick sleeper super immune is amazingly good. You've got passion and fighting skills. You could be a planter. You can be a researcher. Oops. Well, not oops, but oh, we've got a raid. Prepare for a while, then attack. That's fine. Let's make sure everyone stays walled in. We could even drop some bombardments on their heads. I think we probably will. And anyway, what I was just thinking was that what we would do is throw, and I don't remember who else is decent at shooting. It doesn't matter. Bonds. There, you. Um, is put a little star or some sort of visual indicator on the five people we'd, we'd be thinking about bringing with us and then start the work of of cybering up start cyber them cybering them up something like that let's put oh i can't put a star can i put a, a dash okay Here, you know what they're getting plus oh you can't plus all right dash hope because then we can we can do alphabetical listings and be cl clustered up right um on screens where their names matter can you sort my name here Huh. I mean, you can sort by skill, which I guess, I guess it doesn't make sense to sort these people by name anywhere. I guess it's only when you're setting up a caravan that it comes up, but we can do that. We can also, uh, like regroup people. So, I mean, Gomp might be a candidate. Madeline, depressive sucks. The masochist actually gives us a few ways to make them a little happier. They're obviously a great researcher, but I don't know if they make the cut. I mean, Mathis has got some great skills, great traits, so we could move them up a little. Javi, I'm sorry. I mean, I appreciate that you're a cook, but we're, we're, we don't need an actual cook. Smogger, kind, sanguine, fast walker, and there are, they're one of our two sort of crafters. This is not the, it's not Spear who has a crazy good crafting, but you've got the passion for construction. You've got this. You've already got the maker stuff. You're a waster, which has pros and cons. I think Smogger makes the cut. Muddy, Wycone. I'm not sure you do. These guys haven't started their approach yet, right? We're just dropping some things on their heads. We might want to consider Immolator so that we have a Medic. Medic and a Researcher. I don't like Delicate. Reich is ugly. You are a good miner, and we might, you know, replace your arms. So we'll put you there. This is sort of where the, the cut line is currently sitting. Arcadius... Probably not. Tomboy could be a crafter medical person, but I think we've got other people in those roles already. I like that Sophia is tough, but otherwise doesn't bring a ton to the party. Jogger, trigger happy is good. Jogger's good. You are good at crafting as well. We could consider something with you. The fawns being a jo jogger is great, and you're good at research now, but I don't know if you... I think a spear, though, maybe... Although I guess we already are bringing a crafter. These, it could be these five. We're going to have to evaluate those skills in a bit. But for now, let me unpause again. And just, we'll just watch these things go off. And then we'll be ready to move our people to the front when these guys move towards us. Okay. One group is beginning their assault. Boom. 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 And put the two mailers. We're just going to sit them in the back for a second here. Or maybe what I do is I go ahead and just... Uh, maybe they're in there. I mean, they might get shot at. Well, I mean, they will, right? Well, it depends on if they're running in. Oh, one group of imps is already fleeing. Good. And the second group hasn't actually started yet. Oh my... Oh, okay. I thought the constructoid was in the bad place. I forgot we kept that wall. Surprising amount of idlers. For the first time in this whole game, I haven't overloaded our work. Okay, now they're starting. 
haven't even checked what they're equipped with over here. Oh, just primitive bows and stuff. Yeah, okay, they're gonna get wrecked. Um, Ribbit. Move to indoors, please. They're just gonna get wrecked by traps, which have been getting rebuilt. Okay. This is being weirdly easy. Which I don't like. Oh, dead growth, mo growth moment. Oh, really? Um, what am I looking for? Schedule. Odette, I, you get one at 10 then? Okay. So you're still a kid, but it unlocks more stuff. Now you can start doctoring. Can't research yet, which is one of your passions. Now, here's the thing. In the list, one of the other things I had wanted to consider is, do we bring Odette? Um, because we are going to be able to choose a lot of their skills. They've got Industrious now. Delicate, obviously, is bad for fighting. Um, yeah, you're incapable of violence, which isn't necessarily a super high candidate for us to bring with us. Great memory, yeah, reduces the rate at which you burn off some skills, but if you're actively doing the skills, it won't go there. I think fast learner is probably what we want as a super strong option in this list. And then... We don't need more research rights right now, but this is kind of useful. We could do crafting and construction and actually set you up as a maker. It's hard to argue with more construction. More construction is always pretty valuable. We could use another doctor, though. Unless I don't put the second pip in intellectual. Right? We And we do this. The difference between the first level of intellectual and the second isn't as significant for XP gain. It's still big, but it's not as big as the first pip, right? Again, maybe I've been wrong about this the whole time, but if you don't have a, star, a pip in it, then you gain XP at one third the rate, which means as soon as you get a pip in, you're tripling your XP rate. The second pip gives you 50% more on top of that. Um, so it's still very good because 150% learning is pretty nice, but she's going to have fast learner anyway. If we just eliminate the penalty and because her age, she can start doctoring. I'm kind of just thinking about opening this up. You will be a very useful pawn, minus the lack of being able to fight. Uh, I guess we'll turn on firefighting, but yeah, I'll turn on doctoring for you. You don't have the skill yet, but hopefully you'll do it. If you can you can actually warden now, which is also nice. And yeah, we'll enable the construction, and you could... Oh yeah, I didn't actually give you the crafting. You don't have the crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going to keep you wall limited, though. Eve's bugs. Face and repeat infestation, draw infestation, six infestation hives, Psylink. This is probably easily well worth it. I don't know how dangerous each hive is. And if they're in exposed territory, like I don't know where they'll spawn. Are they going to be at the edge of the map? I mean, if they spawn inside our base, then that might be like horrific. But otherwise, I think that's very manageable. Um, let me do a unforbid all here. Um, otherwise, it's very manageable. The rewards are... I don't use psychic powers, but I probably should, right? So we could do this as a way to get psychic powers without actually having to get a royal title and the fact that we're not tribal. And then either the hyperweave or the advanced components is fine. Mm -hmm. That is very tempting. Oh, the Unforbid collected up some animal carcasses, which is fine. Tube television... Straight to flat screen, which I may, we may deploy. I might have to do a, a change of organization over here, but we'll see. No tube television. I'm just, I'm probably not going to bother that. Okay, there's our bionic eye. So what I definitely want to do, and you're good at shooting, you'll be even better shooting doing that, and you're doing some smoke leaf. Um, we're going to install the bionic eye. And both your eyes are fine, so I don't know, we'll just put it in your left. Doesn't matter. I guess typically if you're like right-handed and right-eye dominant, which I think most people are, you're going to use your right eye to peek through the scope. So maybe it makes sense to replace that first if we're looking realistically. But in this particular situation, I don't think it makes a difference. So Hope's going to get priority. Also, she happens to be one of our good shooters. So giving her extra accuracy is going to be great. But for now, let's, let's go with the assumption that we're going to bring Hope, Gomp, Mathis. Well, I think I tend to refer to as a he, but apparently is a. Oh no, it is a he. Okay. Um. 
Smogger. And Immolator. Already Immolator's, Immolator's questionable because the chemical interest and delicate. And yet, is it possible that Odette is just a better version of Immolator? Because Odette's going to be able to research and medical and social. Odette can't fight, but Immolator is not really a good fighting candidate either because of being delicate and doesn't have the skill. Is Odette just a better one? The other option is we stay here long enough uh, to set up Sass. And we could like look to find... We'd want to figure out exactly what our gaps are in the people we're bringing. One of the reasons I want to designate this is to figure out if there's anything we're missing. Um, and that would be a good candidate for us to train our kids on. We'll grab the medicine. We do probably have some medicine, but it's in the hospital where we don't have a trade beacon, so it doesn't actually count um, in this list. Keep some go juice. We've got the... Oh, I got to deploy the specialized limbs thing. Artificial metabolism has come up again. Gene pack crop... Oh, short-haired. Hulk body... Oops. Does it do anything? No, it just physically looks bigger. Okay, so that doesn't actually make any difference whatsoever. Right, we can sell off these weapons for very much... Very little money. Very much little money. And I forgot to talk somewhere along the way. Sell the Molotov, sell the Tox Grenades, Wooden Mask. Um... I'll sell off this normal flak vest at 68%. I guess I could sell both. It'd probably prompt another job to make one. Maybe not. Why are Hold on. Why aren't people wearing these flak vests? You know, I'll sell them. We can, we can end up with better quality. It's going to be fine. I'll keep the good flak pants. Probably sell that. Keep the gold. I think the better stomachs. Oh, the nuclear stomach. Complex chemical synthesis. Da, 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 da. Reducing user intake. Oh, you don't need as much food. Can't get food poisoning. Little room to shield the reactor. Radiation increase the risk of cancer. All right, well, that's not great. Reprocessor. Breaks down nutrients we could normally use. Lead into increased efficiency. So reduced hunger rate is useful for the people with the higher metabolism. And I think sterilizing one Okay, eliminates the food poisoning chance. So the preprocessor doesn't do anything for food poisoning. The sterilizing one doesn't reduce food consumption. It actually reduces your beauty. Or may, that might be the beauty of it just sitting around. That's not the implant part of it. Okay. I don't know how much we have to worry about food poisoning. Nuclear stomach, yeah, completely destroys hunger rates and this. In RimWorld, how bad is cancer? Is cancer something we can just deal with? Got higher efficiency. I think efficiency affects the time it takes to eat. Okay, anyway, we're going to buy this. Mm, tech print, artificial metabolism, good. I'm going to buy this, and then I don't have enough money for that. Um, let me pull back on the medicine. If I zero you out, There you go. Done. And what I should do with the tech prints. Would it, can you apply a tech print? No. You have the research passion enabled, but you can't research yet. I was say it might be good to give you the thing. Um, we can give it to someone else. Maybe Gomp, who actually does have the research thing. Now, I don't think the XP from your, your passion it modifies how much XP you get from here. But the idea was Gomp's fairly low in terms of research skill, but has passion for it. So might we might end up using them for research at some point, so we may as well train them up. And there's another tech print somewhere right there, which we're going to do. Now, I don't think the tech print unlocks carry with us from base to base. Our research resets, I'm assuming the need for tech prints also resets at that time. Immolator, could you go and uh, give Hope her eye, please? Squishy sounds. Squishy sounds. There we go. Success. I forget that it shows up on the uh, character as well. All right, so Hope's got a new look going on. We might give her both of the new eyes at some point, too. 
also missing a finger, which if we did set up one of these little regeneration pods, I think we could regenerate the finger. That's something to consider doing for the people who are bringing, we are bringing with us. Like a lot of times I don't bother because it's not like you're losing that much from having missing a single finger, but having them be at like maximum, um, maximum efficiency in every way before we go and send them off might be justified. Now, if the regeneration cycle is a long cycle, might need hype per the or whatever the um in world medicine what is it called glitter world medicine i don't know if we need glitter world medicine from that cycle we might but it might be worth going and giving them a regen cycle before we go and send them to new base as well so i mean obviously we're bringing hope that's not a question Bump. Right, do we bring Mathis? Kinesthetic is good, but if we're bringing Gomp, he can plant. Maybe Gomp comes down the, or maybe Mathis comes down the priority list a little bit. Smogger, Constructor, Crafter, Sanguine, Fast Walker is just so good. So, I mean, very, very, very likely to come. Immolator, again, Immolator, maybe Mathis are kind of wild cards that could be replaced. Reich just supplies us with mining. Staggering LA, chemical fascination, can't fight. Yeah, no, Reich's not coming with us. Maybe Sass. Maybe Hope brings her daughter. Find aesthetic and, I mean, good skills here. But we don't really need the plant. Unless I start giving like ratings like hope. Maybe, oh, I can't do pluses. That's right. Although I could do multiple dashes. Like definitely bring hope. I think we're definitely bringing smogger. Double dashed on that. And I kind of feel like we're definitely bringing gomp. And then after that, it becomes maybe him later, maybe Mathis. We're going to see as it goes down. But yeah, Javier can stay here as the um, sort of governor of the colony after everyone else leaves. It's fine. We've got comms consoles. They can go talk to each other. Manhunter pack of Arctic wolves. Okay, that should be perfectly fine. Let's make sure you guys are indoors. Let's keep you in a walled area. And you should just die to the traps unless you just hang out here. If it's too far away from the entrance, they might not make it there. We might be able to move someone over here as sort of a bit of a bait to keep dragging them forward. But I'm not too concerned about, like, the speed at which we engage these wolves. Heck, if we got a raid right now, they would go and fight each other. That'd be okay. They're going to be kind of loud on the map, but that's all right. I do have to remember to send some gifts over to Lelilium or whatever the other faction is called that's nearby. Lelilium. Oh, I remembered correctly. Because then we do need to build up an alliance. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Oh. Yeah, see, they're starting to come through in these trap areas. Um, you guys are going to come out and then do the repairs and maybe... Okay, I think more things are coming over, so let's just go... Mostly to make sure no one wanders outside right now. Oh, the other group still isn't coming. All right. These two melee we're just going to go... Oh, hang on, some more starting to filter through. Good, good, good. I was just going to pop my head out over here to bring the pack down. Oh, Odette's over here. Hold on. That might be what's pulling them forward. Let's put the kids to indoors mode. All right. I don't think things are happening fine now. A slow trickle. They're finally through the trap corridors. But I think we've got enough raw firepower here. Oh, uh, this merchant might be having a bad day. Not really my problem. Shoot faster. Their little melee tank here. Oh, they're coming. Are you coming through here? You might get you might get shot by my people. I hope you're going through out this door right now. And not walking through the kill box. Um oh no, okay. I thought they were going through this door. Okay, they might be fine. 
Yeah, break risk. We have had some people recruited for a little bit, so it kind of makes some sense. Weiss doing a great job here with the melee. You're delicate. Oh, you really should not be a frontliner. I gotta keep forgetting that. I think you keep noticing and then forgetting. You're not. You don't have the uh, the the gland stuff, eh? The tough skin or whatever. No. Is that it for the hostiles? Oh no, there's a few more wandering out there. Cam is the one who's the crankiest. Let's go and drop you for a sec. You can go and take care of yourself. I'm gonna poke my head out over here. Oops. All right, I didn't mean to select hope. There we go. That's enough. I didn't know if I might. I might have also needed to pop um, spear out there. Oh no! War merchants. Hey, you guys are gonna be fine, right? We might get a chance to do some rescues and stuff. If you're going through this door. Okay. I think we're okay. I think all the wolves have been downed. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll double click to select all of them and then put finish off. I'm going to de-grab you guys, unrestrict everyone except the kids who are going to be put back to walled and the mechs as well. Um, I mean, I guess I can unrestrict everything. It's just a lifter. I'm worried that the lifter is going to go out to the edge of the map to pick up stuff and you're kind of slow and defenseless. No, no, we'll do that. What I should do is probably make a work zone that's outside of our walls, but I'm going to go ahead and just lift all the restrictions for a little bit. We're not playing a Cassandra Classic, so we could get another like raid type event immediately. There's no guarantee because it's it's Randy Random. We have no idea when he might strike again. OK, now I'm going to go and complete my thought of let's wrap up this episode. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another one and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye bye.